Welcome back. Today, the Tennessee Valley Authority gave Fox 54 an inside look at life out at Wilson Lock and Dam, taking us on a tugboat tour and showing us just how they turn water into electricity. It's our first look inside the facility in years. It's all part of the dam's 100th year in service, that anniversary being celebrated Friday. TVA staff also gave Fox 54's Caleb Aguayo a rundown on how they conduct their operations. Here's a look. Today, I got the chance to tour Wilson Dam. It's TVA's largest hydroelectric facility with 21 turbines, just like the one right behind me, spinning constantly. It provides over 660 megawatts of electricity, providing power to almost 400,000 homes right here in the Tennessee Valley. Assistant plant manager Jimmy Springer tells me it all starts at the higher water surface. They dump that water to spin turbines, the same way that windmills use the wind speed to turn similar turbines. We take that water energy, we run it, down into a, a turbine. Gates open up, they let water flow across the turbine wheel that we saw out in the parking lot. That causes rotation. That's connected to a big shaft that goes up and connects to the rotor on our generator. That spins inside of a set of windings. So as it's spinning, it's creating electricity. In fact, Springer is a veteran of Wilson Dam, having worked there for years. He's still amazed by how it all holds up, even decades down the line. With the technology they had, a hundred years ago, before computers and calculators, it's uh, it's amazing that they sat down, they drew this out by hand, thousands of people came in, built it by hand, and it's still here operating reliably a hundred years later. A lot of the work is now automated, with 37 workers and technicians making up the workforce. But across the river, I learned the hard way that tugboat pilots have plenty to watch out for while navigating cargo through our waterways. A lot of instruments here are radar. A pilot has to steadily watch that radar. Mm -hmm. It picks up the buoys, any kind of uh, any traffic, any boats, fishing boats, buoys, debris, anything. That, that picks up real-time live stuff. And then we have to steadily monitor that the electronic charts, all the instruments and everything. It's, it's quite a bit to it if you run out here at night, especially. As the job title says, it takes years of experience to master, and the men and women of TVA have it down like clockwork. In Florence, I'm Caleb Aguayo, Fox 54 News. TVA is telling people if they want to learn more, the space outside the facility is open to the public, and that includes miles of riverside walking space with information about the dam posted around the trails.